We are back at the island of Vorneputte at Motorport and Rokanje for a new test ride during the Kawasaki Promo Tour. In the last two videos I tested the Kawasaki Z900 and the Kawasaki vs. 1000 SE. I will put the links to those two videos in the top of the screen. Today we are back for another speed date with the Kawasaki model and today it will be the sport tourer from Kawasaki, the Ninja 1000 SX. The weather hasn't improved so this will also be a test ride in wet and sometimes slippery conditions. So welcome back to the channel, my name is Roy and this is MotorVlog.nl Well here it is, this is the Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX and the bike we are riding today and as you can see even in these weather conditions the Kawasaki Promo Tour keeps on going. Then again if you test a motorcycle in these conditions you can imagine how it will be on a nice and sunny day. But that's the Netherlands for you, yesterday and today it can be pouring down on you and tomorrow you will have a clear sky with lots of sun and to be honest the day after I recorded these videos it was a beautiful sunny day with almost clear skies. Go figure! The Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX is known as a sports tourer. It is made to go out and explore the roads ahead, commute to work, do some serious twisties or casually tour to new and exciting destinations. The bike is equipped with full fairings to keep you protected from the elements and has a medium sized windscreen to redirect the wind. The bike has a sporty look to it that fits the history of the Kawasaki Ninja models. It has an aggressive look to it and the riding position on the bike is sporty but not as extreme as the super sports bikes. I am about 2 meters in height and I could ride this bike comfortably.
It almost went terribly wrong here. In this corner I lost grip on the tires and almost ended up in grass. This happened twice during this trip. But like I said before the roads were wet and sometimes slippery. And here on the island of Hornepute there are a lot of agricultural vehicles on the roads. So you will have to be aware of little rocks and dirt on the road. More riders in the group later told me that they experienced slipping at some point or another. But fortunately nobody crashed. This Ninja 1000SX has a 1043 4 cylinder engine that produces 142 horsepower or 104.5 kilowatts at 8000 rpm. The bike comes with a 19 liter fuel tank and with an average range of 323 kilometers per tank you will get a fuel economy of 1 to 17. The bike weighs in at about 235 kilograms and has a seat height of 83.5 centimeters. The bike comes equipped with a quick shifter, smartphone connectivity, electronic cruise control and more. In the upcoming weeks I will be posting several of these speed dates with other motorcycles. For now this is the last video with the Kawasaki model and in the next one I will be test riding another brand. Also in the next month or so I am off for a solo adventure in a foreign and faraway country. During this trip I will be exploring that country on a motorcycle so I will be bringing my camera gear and the plan is to make a series out of it. The country that I am visiting is located in Southeast Asia but unlike other YouTubers that filmed their trip over there. I am not riding a standard local motorbike on this trip. I have never done anything like this before and the reason why I am doing this now is quite simple. YouTube is a hobby at this point and next to this channel I have a full time day job at the Dutch National Railway Company. But in the near future I am going to start a new job within the same company and that switch gave me the opportunity to take some time off to do some traveling. And visiting this Asian country has always been a long life dream of mine. After I return from this trip I will start my training for the new job and the plan is to pick up where I left off with the Honda ST1100 project. So that project will come back to the channel and has not been forgotten. If you enjoy my videos hit the like button and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel you can do that by clicking the red button below this video. If you would like to get notifications every time I upload a new video then tap the bell icon. Let's get back to the Kawasaki Ninja 1000SX.
After riding this bike for about 40 minutes to at this point, I can give you my opinion on it. Kawasaki put a bike on the market that is sporty but also has the ability to function as a daily driver. You can mount panniers to the bike to carry luggage on longer trips or leave them off to take it out on a casual ride on a nice day. If you are looking for a bike that doubles as a sport bike and a tourer, this can be a great option. But if you are looking for more comfort and a bit more upright seating position, I suggest looking at the Versus instead. If you are looking for a bike that is more oriented towards super sport, then Kawasaki offers the Ninja 400 or the Ninja ZX-10R. Or if you want to go above and beyond, then maybe the Ninja H2R is the bike for you. If you like the qualities of the Ninja 1000SX, but you want more power, then check out the Ninja H2SX SE. That one delivers 200 horsepower instead of the 145 horsepower in the Ninja 1000SX that I drove today. If you want to test ride one of the Kawasaki models yourself, check out my website or the website of Kawasaki Netherlands for upcoming dates and location for the Pro Kawasaki Promo Tour. I will leave the links in the description below. In the next video we will be back at, again at Motorport in Rokanje, but we will trade in the green machines from Kawasaki for the orange army from Austria, the KTM. See you in the next video. Bye!